guys hoping you guys are doing fine i need to get a new intro for my channel because this one is old hoping you guys are doing fine so today i'm going to be doing a kenyan tag i'll be answering all the kenyan questions that you guys wanna know about me so yeah. like this video please like and if you've not subscribed please subscribe we are trying to grow what's my kenyan tribe <laughs> you guys know i'm a meru of course but my county is the rakanidi county okay and the next question what's my kenyan name that means my tribal name okay you guys know me as kiki <laughs> but my full the full name for kiki is kenya but you know people call me kiki and i love it but i also love my kenyan name so you can call me any third question when was the last time you visited your country <laughs> oh my god i'm always in kenya i keep a fun fact guys i've never been outside kenya oh that's odd and boring i hope one day i'll be out <laughs> what part of kenya are you and your family from i've already told you guys i'm from the rakanidi and so is my family okay the rakanidi county i'm a mount kenya region where did you grow up <laughs> definitely i grew up here and i'm still here right now where i have a boring life guys where in kenya were you born <laughs> I was born in Darakan. Okay, no, actually that hospital is in Meru County. If you've been to Darakanidi and Meru, you know, Zinafuatana. So I was born in a hospital around Meru County. It's called Nkobo Hospital. But yeah, I'm from Darakanidi. At least some change, you know. What's your favorite Kenyan music? Favorite Kenyan music right now? Guys, I have so many. Okay, I can't find one. I love... Uh, the song by Hat the Band, Jabet. By the way, I love Hat the Band. Oh, all their songs. And also, I love Sauti Soul. Okay, the question is favorite Kenyan music. So, I think Jabet, my Jabet, Iyo Sasa. And then another one, Ilea Nani. I need to add Brown. Aki na inbo I forgot which languages do you speak in Kenya Kenyan languages that I speak is Kimeru but then I can hear some Kikuyu I can hear Kiembu I can hear Kikamba Juao ni Mabantu I can hear Kigiriama because in Afarana na Kiswahili which languages do you wish you could speak Kenyan languages maybe Luo because you know Luo is a national language <laughs> I wish I could speak Luo by the way name one ethnic food you enjoy the most wow all of you know i love mokimo <laughs> i have done videos of me cooking mokimo so definitely i love 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 mokimo <laughs> the best 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 so i love 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 mokimo one household item that best describes your culture what i can't even figure out what to look at in this house okay let me get you one i think <laughs> i think this actually describes my ethnicity so i'm not even going to tell you what is this if you know comment down below comment <laughs> anyway next question which part of the country do you wish you are from i think i wish i were from coast because I love their way of life, the way things are slow there, you know, and people love each other. See at love, but the courtesy and everything, I wish I were from there. But then the weather is too hot, so everything but the weather. <laughs> Next question, the last Kenyan movie that I watched, Nihi Akina Nikmotuma. I can't even remember the name. Gosh, and I watched it last week. <laughs> Anyway, I'll put it, I'll put the name here on the screen because I can't even remember. I don't know why I forget everything when I'm filming. <laughs> I have the next question. What is your favorite holiday in Kenya? My favorite holiday, obviously, is Christmas. Christmas is so, so 
fun here in Kenya, you know, even the supermarkets make it fun. Everywhere you go, you feel the Christmas mood. So I feel like that's my best holiday. Three Kenyan habits that I have. What? I can't remember. Anyway, the first Kenyan habit I have is to spread avocado on bread. I love, 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 love spreading avocado on bread. And another Kenyan habit I have is asking the price before I bought a matatu because those guys are not trustworthy. What? I can't risk. Lazima ni ulize bay kwanza. So another, another habit. What a typical Kenyan habit I've forgotten, guys. Oh, too bad. <laughs> if I remember, I'm going to tell you at the end of the video, okay? One thing you'd change in Kenya if you had the powers. There are so, so many things I would love to change about Kenya. Not that I don't love this country, but I have so many things that I feel are not going right. But the one thing I would change if I had the powers is corruption, at least corruption is But somebody told me that corruption is everywhere, even in the Bible. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, that it's hard to get rid of corruption, Julian Zaktambo. But I believe corruption is the one that is making life so hard here in Kenya. So if I could change one thing about this country, corruption is what I would eradicate, like, Totally, to back it to to feel when you walk straight forward. What's one Kenyan thing or item that you could never leave when you're traveling? I don't even know. <laughs> like, ningekuwa la travel sai atasjui. I would only carry my clothes. But I think this wristband here, you guys, this is like an asset. I've always worn this. I know you see this hand in my video. If you see this hand, just know it's mine. I've always you can't imagine this thing is i think five years old because i bought it in 2016 it's even getting a little bit old but i think i know how to maintain you guys but it's getting loose now so i might need another one but imagine since 2016 until now 2021 those are five or six five years wow i'm so preservative <laughs> i which country do you wish you are from okay i know every country has its own you know disadvantages but maybe if i was not a kenyan i wish i was a south african i love south africa it looks a little bit more civilized but i don't know i'm not going even to see the trash kenya for another country because i know each country has its own ups and downs. I would also wish I was from Tanzania because Tanzania looks good generally. Life is a little bit slow there, so <laughs> I love a slow life. I don't know why. I love a slow life. Yeah, so I wish I was from there. And that's it. Those were all the questions I had to answer guys hoping you guys enjoyed this video please play with me comment down below and tell me some things that you differ with me the things you agree with me that I've said yeah I am hoping to see you guys in my next video the next video will be lit so subscribe guys subscribe and like this video please Okay, until next time, hoping to see you guys in my next video. Bye!